All right, everybody. Shalom, Mom Israel. First and foremost, I want to begin uh, by giving all the praises, honor, and glory unto our Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakhakudash, and uh, double honors unto my apostles, my elders, Rabbi Moshe Nabuwa, and peace and mercy and salutations unto the elect, the hopeful elect of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, who are doing the work in sincerity and in truth, and also Shalom to the sisters that believe in the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Um, so I was just reading the book of Luke, uh, the eighth chapter. Okay. And Yahweh Shai, uh, was speaking unto, you know, uh, you know, the masses. Um, but, uh, Lord Yahweh Shimo Shai was, uh, speaking in parables. And then he went on, uh, to break down, okay. Uh, you know, the parable in which uh, he had spoken of unto his disciples and he told his disciples, you know, that it was given unto them to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to the rest, you know, um, they're basically, uh, they, you know, they have eyes, but they cannot see. Okay, they got ears, but they cannot hear, etc. and so on and so forth. Okay, and one of the parables that Yahweh went into, which, you know, Lord willing, I'm going to read here very soon, going into this word in which Yahweh had given, okay, to some, you know, um, they were able to grow from it, okay, others, uh, you know, they went on, you know, they made an excuse, and so on and so forth, okay, you know, uh, they got choked, okay, they did the work, you know, for a season, they believed for a moment, okay, um, and then eventually something came up, and so on and so forth, so they did not grow fruit, okay, and so, you know, one of the, you know, words that stood out to me, you know, was a uh, belief, Okay, which believe goes into having faith in the Lord Yahab Hashim Shai. Okay, which also goes into, you know, uh, you know, that faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, man. Okay, and so when we were um entrusted with this word, okay, Yahab Hashim Shai had given us a command, you know, to go out there in a house in the byways, man, okay, and to push this gospel. And while we're out there, okay, we have to have faith. In the Lord Yahab Hashim Shai, okay, that, uh, you know, what we're doing, okay, we will receive that reward eventually, okay, but that we believe in these words, man, in which we're talking about, man, when we're reading these scriptures, when we're reading the stories of Yahweh Shai healing the sick, and so on and so forth, we wholeheartedly believe in it, and though, you know, we have not seen it with our bodily eyes, but yet we have faith that these things did happen, man, okay, and so I'm going to read this, you know, the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 8, verse 1. And it came to pass afterward that he went throughout every city and village preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of the Lord Yahweh Shai. And the twelve were with him. And a certain woman which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, okay, so she had, uh, basically, uh, demons, man, okay, and Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai healed her from it, okay, and we believe in that, man, okay, these are, you know, hey, you know, these are accounts that happened, and it says right here, out of whom went seven devils, so she had demons, and Yahweh Shai healed her, man, okay, you know, and seven, you know, represents a complete amount. So it could have been more, you see. And it says, and Joanna, the wife of uh, Shusa, Herod Stewart, and Susanna, and many others, which ministered unto him and their substance. And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spake by a parable, man. Okay? So Yahweh Shai had a multitude of people that came to hear him. And he spake unto the people, okay? What? In parables. By a parable. Okay? Verse 5. A sower went out to sow his seed. Now, this is Yahweh Shai talking. Okay? This is in red. So if you have the red letter Bible, okay? You know, this would be in red. So this is... You know, uh, Yahweh Shai talking. So he's giving out a parable here. So this right here is very, very important 
to understand that when you come to this truth, the scriptures talk about how that many are called, but few are chosen. So you're going to have some people who are called, but, this, but that does not mean that they're chosen. And Lord Jehovah Shimon will that we be of the elect man, that we are the ones who are called. So it says right here, a sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside and it trodden and it was trodden down and the fowls of the air devoured it and some fell upon a rock and as soon as it was sprung up it withered away because it lacked moisture and some fell among thorns and the thorns sprang up with it and it choked it and others fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit an hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath an ear, let him let him hear. Okay? You know, and I was watching, you know, uh, you know, the elders, uh, you know, um, and the Akium out there in Toronto, you know, and uh, one of the things that, you know, um, one of the brothers said, you know, um, I believe it was Amath, you know, he said that, you know, um, there's a difference between hearing and listening. Okay? So when Yahawashai said right here, let him hear, okay, you know, uh, I'm looking at this, uh, you know, um, I'm reading this Bible right here, and that word hear goes into listening, okay? Because, you know, somebody can hear something, but when you listen, you actually, you're focused upon what is being said. So then, therefore, you apply what is being said, okay? A lot of people just hear, but they're only hearing just to hear, but they're not actually applying what they're hearing, okay? So therefore, they're just hearing, but it's important that you listen to what is being said, okay? You listen to these scriptures, man, right? okay? So when he just said, he that hath an ear, let him hear, okay? And it says, and his disciples asked him, saying, what might this parable be? Because the disciples, they did not understand the breakdown. And then Yahawashah is going to go forth to break it down unto them. Okay? So Yahawashah said right here, verse 10, And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of the Lord Yahawashah, but to others in parables. Okay? Now this is basically as it is written. Okay? In the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, verse 9. So it says right here, But to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. You see, now the parable is this. So Yahweh is breaking it down now. Okay? The seed is the word of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, man. Okay? When you first heard this truth, Okay, it made you feel alive, man. Okay, you see, you know, the spirit of the Lord, Jehovah Hashem Hashem was in you. Okay, now as you grow, okay, there's certain things that you're going to see, you know, that you're going to come across, etc. Okay, so it says, now the parable is this, the seed is the word of the Lord, Jehovah Hashem Hashem. Those by the wayside are they that, that hear then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts, man. Okay, and we see plenty of examples of that when we're out there in the house in the byways and we're, you know, uh, teaching, you know, and you got somebody, you know, who comes and is actually hearkening unto what is being said and then immediately, bam, Satan comes, okay, you know, and then, you know, basically just causes confusion and that individual that was hearing the word Okay, the devil came and basically took it away from his heart, man. Now the person just, you know, went about his day, okay, like as if nothing happened, man. Okay, but also you're going to have those, you know, who come across, you know, the elders and the apostles, etc. And they're hearing this word and so on and so forth. And before you knew it, okay, you know, they turned into a demon. Okay, why? Because they started to uh, listen, okay, uh, at different breakdowns from different camps, etc., Okay, so the devil came and took away that which is sown in his heart. Okay, so verse 12, it says, Those by the wayside are they that, that, that hear 
Then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their heart, lest they should believe and be saved. You see? You got to believe, man, first and foremost, man. Okay? Lest they, believe, they should believe and be saved, man. Okay? And that word believe, you know, I just wrote down, you know, uh, define belief on Google right here. But first and foremost, let me get this word believe, okay, in that, uh, you know, uh, in the book of Luke chapter 8, verse 12, it says, to think to be true, okay, to be persuaded of, to credit, place confidence in, man, okay? You see, you got to believe, man, okay? It says, of, of the thing believed, to credit, to have confidence, okay? And so... Believe in the, you know, um, in Google right here, it says, accept something as true, feel sure of the truth of, man, okay? You see? Now, what is the true meaning of belief? It says to have confidence in the truth, okay? The existence or the reliability of something, although without absolute proof, which again, for faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So even though you don't have any proof, okay, you believe in it, man. Okay? And so going back right here, okay, to, uh, you know, the book of uh, Luke chapter 8, verse 12, it says, Those by the wayside are they that are they that hear, then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved, man. Okay, so if you don't believe, then therefore, okay, that word is going to be taken out of your heart, man. That fire will not be there no more. That spirit of the Lord, Jehovah, will leave. Okay, verse 13. They on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive the word with joy. And these have no root which for a while believe and in time of temptation fall away. So you're going to have some people who are going to be in this thing normal for some time, but they will get tempted by certain things of the world, man. Okay, and that thing will eventually draw them away. It will cause them to fall away. But these were once men who were sincere. Okay, men who were actually doing this thing in sincerity and in truth. But what happened? They took no root, okay, which for a while they believed and in time of temptation fall away. So that's the ones that basically, you know, uh, you know, they fell on a rock, okay? And it says right here, verse 14, and that which fell among thorns are they which when they have heard Go forth and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life. So the ones that fell upon the thorns are the ones who basically went back into the world, man. Okay? You see, you know, they had pleasures in the things of the world. You know, new cars, the girls, you know, getting quick money, etc. here and there. You see, they missed it. You know? You know? So... That's what they were doing when they were in the world. They came into the truth. They were in the truth for a minute. And then they went back to it, man. Okay. So basically they had pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. You see? And it says verse 15, but that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart Having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience, man. Okay? You see? And that word with patience goes what? Into in due time. You see that? In due time. But the point and the, you know, and the difference is that these ones, these individuals, they stuck with it, man. Okay? They were not swiftly taken away, okay? They continued to believe. They did not go back into the world. They did not care about the affairs of the world, man. Okay, verse 15. But that on the good ground are they 
which in an honest, first and foremost, they were sincere, they were honest, and with good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience, man. Okay? With patience. It says, verse 16, no man, when he had lighted a candle, covereth with a vessel, or putteth under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter may see the light. And that is the truth. You see, you might be just an only individual, you know, like, uh, you know, the brother, uh, you know, I'm out there in Montreal, you know, the brother, uh, you know, he was going into basically, you know, um, what you need to do in order to open up a camp, first and foremost, you see, and he went into, you know, uh, so many different things. Okay, you know, which was a beautiful edifying video. But when you got this truth, you have to go out there eventually, man. Okay, the word is going to burn in you. Okay, but you got to be what you, you know, you got to be apt to teach. Okay, you know, you might be out there by yourself, you know, for some time. You see, so this verse 16 right here is going into when you got this truth, you're not going to just hide it. You are going to go out there and push the truth, man. Okay. You see, first, you know, first and foremost, you got to eat that roll. You got to learn first. Okay. You got to learn the milk. Okay. You know, the basics, you know. And then eventually you go out there and you teach, okay? But the point is that when you have this truth, you should not just hold it in or keep it with you, okay? It's meant for that light to be shined, man, okay? So it says, verse 16, No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covereth with a vessel, or putteth under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that it should enter it's like it, that they which enter may see the light, for nothing is secret, and that shall not, it's like it, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that should not be known and come abroad. Verse 18, take heed therefore how ye hear, for whosoever hath to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have, man. Okay? Yo, this is heavy, man. Okay? You see, it goes to show you, okay, different aspects of individuals who, who had this truth. But you're going to have the elect who are the ones who are going to be sincere and are going to continue to push forth. And believe, okay, have confidence in this thing, man. Okay, so as I was reading that, I was like, yo, that's, yo, that is beautiful, man. You see? And Lord Yahab Hashim Rashad will because, you know, just reading that, it puts fear in you because you could fall into any of those categories if it be according to the will of the Lord Yahab Hashim Rashad. Okay? You see? And Lord Yahab Hashim Rashad will and that we be of the elect, that we do not fall into the other categories three categories man we want to be of the one who are sincere okay and who kept the word of the lord and brought forth fruit with patience those are the ones that we want to be a part of man okay but just to know that there's others of course who had the truth who came in the same way as you but there was a different route that they took that could be any of us man and okay, and this is why we have to put our prayers day in and day out, man. Okay, every single day. That Yahab Hashim not to remove his Holy Spirit away from us, man. You see? So I just wanted to bring that out. Lord Yahab Hashim will that, you know, it was edifying. And until next time, Shalom.